I'm Sherry Germain and I'm here to tell you about my favorite items that I received in my new beauty test tube for summer of 2013. There was actually a lot of great stuff in here, I have to say. Um, some of the things that I don't have sitting here because I use them all and I use them on vacation so I didn't save the actual trial size was the It's a 10. Um, it's Miracle Leave-In Light, and it was so great. Um, you spray it on your hair when it's wet, and you brush through it and makes your hair so soft and smooth and so much easier to blow dry. Oh my gosh, I loved it. I will definitely go pick some of that up. Um, and it had a really good scent, too. It kind of smelled like you were just leaving the salon, which I loved as well. And another thing that I really liked, but I left on my vacation... <laughs> Um, while I was there was the Purity, the cleanser, which was really good. It felt good on my skin. It smelled good. didn't have a really strong scent, which was nice. Um, and it just really seemed to clean my face really well. I liked it a lot. Moving on to what I actually do have here, um, I really like this Orly nail polish that I got. I don't know if you can really see the color, but it's kind of this glittery like gold silver color it's hard to describe it's called rage um, it's just a really cool different color that I wouldn't normally get and when I tried it on I I liked it it just really stood out and it seemed to go with a lot because it's kind of neutral so I like this a lot um, I also liked this was in like the extra little side bag that you get with it when they send you little extras to try it was this Dalton lip gloss. It's color cream lip gloss in Lisa Lou. Here, look at the color. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's a real neutral color when you put it on. It has uh, some peach and some pink and a little bit of glitter in it. Um, so it seems to go with a lot of different skin tones. And when you put it on, it's pretty light, which I like a lot. I don't like ah in your face color. Um, so I really like this. I've been using this. Um, another thing that I liked was this Perlage um, primer. I used it a couple times. That light really isn't working for me. There is. <laughs> um, I used it a couple times and I really liked it. I typically use Smashbox, um, that green primer color correcting to get the redness out of my face, which works really well. Um, but when I tried this, I liked it too. And the last thing that I absolutely loved and adored from the new beauty test tube was the Lumine Pure Radiance Night Cream. This stuff, I have to tell you, smells phenomenal. It smells like you're putting oranges on your face. Um, I've been using it every single night. I've just incorporated it into my beauty routine and I really, really like it. It seems to give my skin a more healthy glow and it hasn't made me break out which is huge most things that i put on my skin make me break out so i can't use a ton of things um so i really really like this stuff so those were my favorite items um some of the items i could have done without were the tarte um oil it's i don't even know what kind of oil it is oh maracuja oil it's a roller ball and you're supposed to put it like under your eyes and on your neck for more hydration. So I tried it and instead it just seemed to make me look oily because it's oil that you're putting on your skin that didn't really like absorb all the way. So I didn't like that very much. Um, the Pantene Expert Shampoo and Conditioner um, was just like any other shampoo and conditioner to me. Um, not a high-end shampoo and conditioner it was fine but you know nothing special and that was it i think i liked pretty much everything oh the other things um your best friend the um the eyebrow filler that came with the brush the brush on the end i really liked because it helped brush my eyebrows but i'm i'm not good at putting on my eyebrows are dark enough as it is with my light hair so I really don't need to fill in my eyebrows but when I tried it it just I'm not good at it and it wound up being like 
lines instead of actually blending anything in. So, and then the Moroccan oil body butter. Um, I liked this actually, it smelled really good, but when I opened the bottle, it was, it just felt so like watery and slippery when you took it out. And then when you rubbed it on your skin, it felt good, but it had like this thick water feeling to it, which I'm not a huge fan of. But those were my favorites and the ones I could do without. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.